Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another beautiful day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. This video brought to you in part by Tartar Farm and Ranch. Thank you Tartar Farm and Ranch for helping us out with a great deal on this squeeze chute system. We're going to show you guys how all this works and we're going to set up our temporary corral pen system so that we can bring our cows through our handling system. It's going to be super awesome. This will be part one. Part two will probably be either tomorrow or next weekend where we run our cows through here. We're going to put our ear tags in. We're going to band our calves and get our steers ready for production for beef so you can buy beef right off our farm. Awesome. So come along as we put up our temporary corral system. Woo! So we have the option with this tartar farm and ranch system and with any cattle handling system you have the option most likely of a sheeted system meaning it has metal sidewalls versus an unsheeted system which would be open. The sheeted system is a much easier system for the cows to work through. They don't have those outside distractions. And inherently the cow's head is gonna kind of be down as he figures out his way or she figures out her way through the handling system right here. So that's why we went with the sheeted sweep system. It's easier on handling the cows. Now you'll notice the cows when we run them through in the next video, their heads will be up and their eyeballs will be looking around like gazing around at what's going on. But as we start working them through, we're gonna work them through gently. It's all about handling our cattle in a low stress environment in a gentle way. This is the way the sweep system is designed. So there's a door right here. This is a big gated door. And right in here, we got a handle. We'll pull that handle back. This handle has a catch on it, so we're going to open it all the way up. And our corral panels that we're getting ready to put up are going to be temporary corral panels. So we'll have a corral panel on the back side of this so we can access this area behind us. And we'll be able to hop over and shut the sweep system door right here. Eventually, we'll build a permanent cattle handling setup right here. But for now, we're just doing temporary corral panels. So the way the sheet system works, the cow will enter in through the sweep right here and we'll bring this closed on them. So we get to this point, lock that back, the gate will not push back. So no matter how much the cows want to push back, the gate's not going to push back. So you've got six or seven cows in this area right now. They're all in there and as you slowly close down the chute sweep system, just like this, As you close that down it forces the cow into a smaller and smaller area cows like to turn cows want to go this way if you ever approach a cow it's never gonna walk right up and be like hey dude it's gonna do this it's gonna do this it's gonna look this way so it's always turning cows are always turning when you approach a cow it's typically never gonna gallop 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 away it's gonna be turning so that's why the sweep system is so handy the sweep system will bring the cows down to a smaller and smaller area until it gets into the chute. So you're at a point right here where the cows can still turn around a little bit and they're gonna be turning around in here, but as you get a little tighter, you get tighter and tighter and maybe a cow's head might be in here, but all you gotta do is kind of reach in and <laughs> just kind of scare them in. You don't need to be in here going, yeah, wah, woo, woo. You don't need to be making all that noise, man. You need to be in here calmly handling the cows, not talking junk to them and not cussing them out because they don't like being cussed out. Cool? And this opens right back up. So this is the end of the sweep system and the start of the alleyway system. The alleyway will slowly begin to collapse down onto the cow. What makes a cow comfortable? Not turning around in the alleyway makes a cow comfortable. And this is gonna kind of rub the sides of the cow's belly right here. And that is a comforting feeling to the cow. That's why we have a squeeze system versus just some old chute to run them through like they did in the old days. So we've learned a lot about cows and the psychology of bovine animals. So coming through here, they'll squeeze down tighter and tighter. So this area right here is about uh, three feet wide. I think it's 36 inches between here. And then we'll go to the next chute, which is adjustable. This is the adjustable portion of the squeeze chute. And if you lift up on these handles right here, raise up, 
can adjust the full squeeze. So in other words, it will go down just like that, okay? The way we're gonna do this is we're gonna put it on notch number three for our cows to slowly narrow down into this alleyway right here and the cow will bump both sides of its belly right here on the inside of the alleyway. It's really, really cool. From there, we're gonna go right into the squeeze chute system. I hope you guys are liking this. Please pound that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back. This is just great information. I've learned this information. And it's super cool that I can pass it on to you. So the way this is constructed, again, this is the adjustment on this side. We can squeeze it in even tighter if we want to, as tight as we want in case we have some really young calves we've got to bring through. And I think the number three notch is gonna handle all the cows that we have right now. Entrance to our squeeze chute right here. So there are handles, numerous handles back here that we're gonna pull. This one opens up the entryway door, okay? There's an entryway door there. You'll see it move just a little bit. So that opens and closes our chute, okay? There's a notch right here. So cow comes in, comes through, close that down. We want to be as gentle as we can. We don't want a whole lot of beating and banging because that freaks a cow out. A low stress handling situation is what makes a cow happy, okay? So we have all sorts of little ways to palpate our cows. We can go in through here and do a preg check. All these open up. So if we've got to band our cow or we got to do a preg check, we can go in through the palpation area right here and we can preg check and or band a steer. This is called a squeeze chute because it squeezes the cow. This is the squeeze handle right here. Cow comes in, it's wide open. I reach right here and I pull down. See that? It squeezes in on the cow, squeezing its belly and making it comfortable. The cow's head will be out the head gate right over here. And this is where we'll be putting ear tags in and checking the cow's head. If the cow were to have pink eye or something like that and you need to put a medicative treatment on, that's where you'd do that right there. So we disengage a handle right here and open this guy up and that's how we let the cow out. The cow will come out and either go into a trailer right here or back out into the pasture, away from the other cows. So we've got all the cows pinned up and we slowly run every one of them through. We've got 29 cows and calves and steers and bulls here on the farm. This is how it closes. It's also spring loaded, so it closes just like that. Got a little bit of water in there. <laughs> so. That's how the whole squeeze chute works with the exception of one more thing. There's a rope right here. So if we don't want to release a cow, say we're loading them into a trailer and this cow that's in the squeeze chute, we don't want in the trailer. We want that cow back into the pasture. We will squeeze this handle right here and the side will open up and out goes the cow right back into the pasture. So you got two options. You can load up right here or you can release them back into the pasture right there. The way we're gonna set this up is where we can load them up and or release from the front and or the side. Then you just pull this and that latches it all back into place. That's how this system works. That's what we're gonna be working with our cows with. Now we're gonna grab Big T, our TYM tractor, uh, the 1104. We're gonna pick up a huge bunch of uh, temporary cattle panels and we're gonna set these up right here for our cows to have a place to stay before they go through the chute. And the way we'll get our cows in is we'll put a little bit of grain, a little bit of sweet feed in a feed bin and they'll come right in, shut the gate behind them and we'll be able to handle them. Rad. It's cold in that tractor. That TYM is bad, dude. Let's get these unbundled. Now, let's talk a little bit about this fencing right here. So, when I first started building fencing here on the farm, I went ahead and bought up a ton of materials and man, I'm super glad that I did that. So I've got enough wire and pipe to basically finish the entire farm fencing uh, and gates. So I went on and bought all my gates, all my pipe, all my wire, and we'll slowly be constructing fencing around about another 55 acres here on the farm so man pat myself on the back I had no idea prices were gonna go up like they were but uh, they they really have now let's talk about the cattle panels that we have right here these are a little different cattle panel than you might have seen cows will get their heads up underneath these so we got the extra bar right here is a heavy-duty bar uh, so that the cows won't get their head up underneath this like a bull and flip it up. Now, a cow will and can get its head stuck in right here, so we've really got to think about that. 
and you really, really need to watch your cattle if you're putting them in a cattle panel like this. And consider putting a T-post right here so that the cow can't get its head in there. Either a T-post or even just a simple step-in post will help keep a cow's head from getting in there. And this whole bundle is upside down. You can see it's been sitting for quite some time. It's got some grass and even trees growing up in it. Hey guys, super, super simple, man. So all I did was basically make one big square pin right here, and we won't need to sort any animals out this year. And if we do need to sort any animals out, we can add a big square pin on to right here. This will serve as my gate opening. Once I get the cows in there, I'll pull this section back to here, and all the cows will be contained, and then we'll run them right through the squeeze chute system, the sweep system, man. Super, super happy. These cattle panels are an easy way to handle this. I'm gonna do a little head scratching to see if there's a way, if I need to separate a cow, I can separate it. Uh, we've got five more panels, which is pretty much not enough to do anything with other than maybe expand this just a little bit. Cannot wait to run the cows through the system, show you guys how this Tartar Farm and Ranch sweep system works. It's gonna be awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. Please pound that like button, jump in, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back here on the Stony Ridge with me. Woo! Come on down.